Ghost House is actually a quote from my partner's uncle. Uh, we had gone to visit him. Uh, he's been living in the house that his mom, my partner's grandmother, left for him after she passed away. And he had been living in this house and hadn't touched anything other than the room that he was living in for over a decade. It's a beautiful house in the countryside, but it's falling to pieces. It's on property that has no value. This house is literally crumbling into the ground. And when we got there, the first thing he said was, welcome to the ghost house. Hi, I'm Dana, and I'm a Cuban-American artist based in Tokyo, Japan. The archivist in me wanted to sort of capture everything, photograph everything, scan everything, textures, surfaces, the accumulation of objects, and then dust on top of those objects. It was during the process of capturing all these things and, and finding this space fascinating in a very distanced way, an archivist sort of way, that I realized like, wait, my partner's uncle doesn't have any children. It's an extremely small family. We are in line for this, like this mess, this building that's sort of crumbling into the ground will be coming to us soon. And that really got me thinking, like my partner's parents are also on the edge of uh, rehoming and potentially downsizing or consolidating. Um, my my own parents are on the edge of this, and it suddenly very much felt like, oh wow, like these you know the structure isn't just crumbling to the ground, but I feel like it's like crumbling into me. I decided to use one of the LiDAR scanning apps. What I find most fascinating is the allure of the archive, especially in the family space. With the added veneer of higher and higher tech processes, it's very expressive, but it has so much loss and so much failure, especially when looking at the promise of like, capture these things in 3D and then you kind of experience it, like it really falls apart. That level of abstraction is really wonderful. This format facilitates encountering this sort of everyday a quite universal content in a novel way. This little park next to the river works super well for installing these three-dimensional models. Not only is it sort of multi-tiered, so I was able to literally climb up into the attic of the ghost house, but this entire surrounding neighborhood is actually below sea level and is prone to catastrophic flooding. Sitting in the dynamic stress of potential natural disaster resonates really closely with preparing mentally, psychologically, emotionally for personal loss. So it became the perfect site to install these models. Ghost House is very much like a page out of my diary. Ideas of family loss, living in a disaster prone area, seeing my grandparents and parents' efforts kind of crumbling into dust. It's easy to understand that my life efforts will follow the same path. While the piece is personal and perspective, it's a completely universal concept. Everybody dwells in this. The reality of the situation is important to accept and to act upon.